Hello everybody. Today we're going to take a quick look at uh, 3D modeling in space uh, with coloring these models. Uh, this is a 3DS object. You can bring this 3DS model object into Photoshop and we can color it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how a few of these things work. So under layers, you have things that have textures and they're all diffused. Uh, for example, this is PS Material Zero. We're going to go into Place, and I'll pick this image of a brownstone wall, for example. Go back to the image, and it places it at the headboard. So now you can see that this model has been colored with a texture. Now, if I were to go to any of the other ones, and say I were to paint stuff, for example, uh, maybe I'll just get like a blue color. I'll just paint blue in the box or, you know, just use the paint bucket tool. I go back, that color will be applied in, in that area. And you can also, again, look at different textures and say, okay, this one, we want to put maybe uh, a purple or something in it. So I'll put purple in there, and I go back to the original, and it shows you where it goes. And it's actually really nifty because if you ever have 3D models, now you can easily color them and even, you can see it captures the lighting. If I start to rotate it, the lighting changes, and it actually captures that for you. Uh, obviously, some of these are models that are compiled, so you can see some of the color running through the bottom. But, of course, if this is a model of a bed, you're not going to see underneath it. So, nonetheless, you have yourself a 3D model in which you can color with textures. If you look at the different uh, layers, you can find the layer. You can name the layer, and, you know, it'll kind of keep track of what is what. So... That's just a quick overview, really something simple, small, if you say you want to throw in a bunch of 3D objects into an image, uh, you know, say you have an image of a, of a room space that you want to use 3D models for and you can find models of beds and whatnot on the internet, then you can easily color them in Photoshop and place them and rotate them and adjust them and everything and the lighting in, in, in Photoshop and it'll compile it into the image. You can obviously transform, if you say, this is convert a small object, you say convert. So now, if I have it the right angle that I want, it's going to convert this into a, a smart object, so now I can shrink it and place it places. I still have it to where I can, uh, well, it's obviously changed it to where I can't uh, 3D model it anymore. But nonetheless, um, the idea is that you would color it and adjust it the way you want it and then transform it and place it into like a, a room space, a picture of an empty room, and there you go. So, hope that helps, and uh, leave comments or questions, any concerns or anything you want to say, uh, want me to make a video of next, that's fine, and uh, I'll talk to you later.